He's sad though. Because you guys are like fighting. No, but this is a debate. debate. No, this is a debate. No, we're cool with her. No, it's like, cool. This is a debate. We're trying to get our my I like opinion, the short her opinion. Conversation. That's funny. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about the height thing. I guess it's a okay. little more light well, on okay. you guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll say it. No, no, well, uh, I love we, a short. We're king. gonna we're gonna move on to the rest <laughs> of the super chats. But so you'll date it. How tall are you? Mm, I don't. Uh, we don't have like the same. What's just what's the centimeters? Uh, one hundred and seventy-two. That's a one. Five, that's five, five seven, seven and a half. Okay, seven we'll, we'll half. go around the table You're really. So real for that. We're gonna go around the table really quick on this. Tell us your height, and if you have a height preference for a guy, go ahead. Um, I'm five feet tall, and I guess I don't care. You don't care. She okay. would date a short I mean, king. Obviously, that's fine. Oh, you guys are catching me in these fallacies. Obviously, if they're shorter than me, like I don't think I could. <laughs> I was about, I was about to say I was like shorter that, than five that's foot. Like, like, oh my God. That's like little person status. That's like certified little person. No. And I think saying? everyone can agree with that. <laughs> I don't think that I would. Personally, you want to get with the little person? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So your would. your height your height or I'll get with the dwarf. Um. <laughs> your height or taller? You're so real for that. I'll, I'll, um, I'd get with a dwarf. Yeah. If you guys know any dwarves, by the way, let me know. <laughs> um, You're such a king for that. Um, no, I don't think I, I care, I okay. guess. What's your height and minimum height requirement for a guy? 5'7", um, and probably like the guy has to be at least 5'9". Okay, what about you? I'm 5'7", right? Uh, I don't really care. I mean, You'll date a guy who's 5'4". I... What is 5'4"? It's short. He's like shorter than you. 5'4 is like literally like a little bit taller than me. 160? 160. Oh. He, this shorter than you. Yeah, 160. I mean, this shorter, I would like, yeah. I think. So I you're looking down at him. So you're like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I mean, I get what you mean. I, I wouldn't, like, if he's like a lot smaller than me, maybe not. But like, I don't really care. Why though? Like, why? why? You said maybe I? not. Stop oh, the like cow. about like when he's smaller than yeah. Me. Have you hooked up? Okay, of the guys that you've hooked up with, have they all been taller than you? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, your turn. <laughs> five seven and five seven. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Like, I, I, what, what do you mean by that? Maybe uh, guys are that are taller higher, than you, right? Taller, taller than yeah. me. Yeah. Most evolutionary, of the time. evolutionary. You look for a man that is you know, that can protect you and your family. So like, you seek guys I can, I can that are taller you, than you. I have never met a lot oh. of guys that are smaller than me. <laughs> there's, there's plenty of guys that can, that are 5'7"? 5'7". There's plenty of guys that can be shorter than 5'7". Yeah, when, when they're like, yeah. I think she's 5'8", five, 5'9", five, to be honest. No, no, I have platforms on. Oh, okay. Okay. She's from Germany. Yeah, oh, they're, uh, for yeah. sure, you 100%. Are, yeah. If you've only gotten with guys that are taller than you and you're 5'8", five, 5'7", but you're aren't seven, guys seven. in Germany like taller than? Yeah, yeah guys yeah. in Europe are way what taller. What are they feeding them? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's like it's Russians, genetics. bro. Russians are huge. They are taller. The, yeah. the Dutch are actually, I think, the tallest. Yeah. What? People. Yeah. They're very tall. So that makes Dutch. sense. Yeah. Dutch yeah. are so very tall. Um, your height, minimum five height. Five seven and the same. What about you? I'm five six, I think, and they have to be taller. Okay, Madison. I'm five two, and they have to be taller. How, but just minimum height for the guy? Minimum height for you guys. Like, I don't know. As tall as you? Six feet? Mm, I think six feet. Okay, Madison. I'm like five, six. <laughs> six feet is hard to find. Not in the Netherlands, though. Oh, that's true. Mm. That's true. But you're yeah, in America. Not, not in the Netherlands. So you see what we're trying to get at, though? About you evolution. You're so against evolution, but, like, there's a she reason. She would date that. I mean... It's cat, but yeah, like, she would date a guy who's... She, she had a minimum of five. She had a minimum. Yeah, she literally I, has... I, w I wouldn't date as a, a, like if he was like five, four, like that. Yeah, you see, that see that's the point that. we're trying to get. You're trying to argue evolution, yeah, but like, but like, like 2023 but, but doesn't like, change that we like... There are a lot of men I met in my life that are smaller than me. That's all I can say. But you just said you wouldn't date a guy that's yeah. shorter than you. That's what I'm saying. A lot of guys that are smaller than me have a lot of problems and insecurities about that. What? That's cool. Yeah. That is... Uh, now you're generalizing. You're trying to... <laughs> yeah, okay, you're literally generalizing. You're trying to get at me okay, saying we're generalizing. You have, a, you have a point. I'm generalizing at that point. I shouldn't. Okay. The same way that case. the same way that generally speaking women are attracted to taller men because most of them are taller. Maybe where you're from, but 5'8 here is pretty Yes, most the average 
uh, female height in the United States is 5'4". The average male height in the U.S. is 5'9", 5'10". Yes, most men are de facto, they're just already going to be taller than you, so it's not a huge concern. But you ask most women, they're not going to want, would it be their preference to date a tall guy? Yes, a lot of girls like tall guys. And a lot of them, a lot of women are going to say, I don't want to date a guy that's shorter than me. Mm -hmm. In the same way that women are attracted to tall men, men are attracted to women with a low body count. I think that's not the same thing. There are a lot of like, there's a huge difference between those two topics. You are like comparing physical attributes with like personality, yeah. right? Like yeah. with actions and, and kind of different. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to move on. We got we to gotta get the rest <laughs> yeah. of the super chats, guys. You're killing me. All right. Um, so, okay, hold on. Uh, we have... The fact of the matter is no guy wants to have an argument and attitude problem when he walks through the door. Combative women become tiresome after a while. You're a woman of God, right? <laughs> yes. So, do you know, there's this famous Bible, uh, Bible verse. I think it's Proverbs 21:19. Better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and nagging wife. Thoughts on that, none? Um... I think it would be better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and naggy husband. So I'd agree, yeah. Are men I'd rather be alone than have a quarrelsome and naggy husband, yeah. But are men typically known for nagging? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've met a lot of naggy men. All right, we got Mangu King here with the $10 Super Chat. Wanted to show some support, but this panel is pointless. These are all kids with a vast generational gap with the topic at hand. And for, oh, he's leaving. Okay, sorry to see you leave. Well, I mean, we got we got 30, we got 26. We, we got, got the $10, Woo. We got, <laughs> we got a, a nun, got a nun, all right. Thank you, man, for the Super Chat. Chaz with the $10 Super Chat, thank you, man. It's easier for women and easy, regardless of what it is, has never and will never be respected in the same way as difficult. Word? Mm -hmm. What does it say? Uh, the, the formatting's a bit funky on that one. But um, I agree. It could be respected as difficult for yeah, guys. Yeah. So agree. when it they're comes, they're not lying when it's when they say it's harder to get on a girl. Yeah. I well, that's why is. the double standard kind of exists because, like you said, it's very easy for women to get laid. It's fairly difficult for men to get laid. So who are we placing the blame on right now? Yeah. It's not, it's not really a blame game, but if we're going to have a conversation about, well, that it's... That is a fact. You're right. It's unjustified that women, when they... Or sorry, when, when men sleep with a lot of girls, it's like, good job. When women sleep with a lot of guys, it's, they're shamed for it. So, yeah. All right, we have Gus with the $10 Soup Chat. The world runs in generalities. The exception doesn't make the rule. To be successful, you have to acquire traits like assertiveness, competitive, non-agreeable. Then she won't have time to hang. Very masculine. We already talked about that, I think. Thank you, Gus, for the Soup Chat. Yeah, I mean, it's not. there's definitely women who are hustlers that they're still really